Today we are going to uh, show you how to get uh, sa satellite signals for your uh, television. It can help you um, either as a technician, satellite TV installer, just to create your own uh, test box or signal meter, or for any, any, anyone who wants to get the, uh, the signals. Let's first of all let's uh, talk about our system in here. It is as you can see we've got the monitor in here. We've got the um, satellite decoder in this case which is our own brand uh, Southern Cross 3888. That's a free to wear and um, with the connections on the back so we will go through it how to connect it anyway. This is the one in here, that um, this is the decoder. And also, just to um, save you uh, not having the cables, whatever, we've come up with this idea of having our own power supply in here. And also, um, we've got the inverter in here. So from the inverter, we uh, supply both the monitor and the decoder. So the next level, is just uh, connecting the the whole system to our satellite uh, dish. So we will go through it later on how to uh, get the signals. But um, again, uh, at the moment we will only concentrate on um, this one uh, on a, on our own box. The way we have connected it, of course. So you connect. Um, to one of these uh, outputs, AV in this case, we've just connected our decoder in here to, uh, to this monitor, so that's what we can see as we speak. And of course you need to connect it to your LNB that we will go through it later on, and in here we are, that's what we've done, with the LNB is connected. In this case, so anyone, anyone can make of course uh, can make this setup and instead of paying thousands and thousands of dollars it's a different way of getting the signals 100% without any problem and it's easy to understand so even anyone who uh, purchases the satellite TV and wants to get the signals that's the most practical way of doing it so all we've done we have created our own satellite uh, TV system in here. Now, um, uh, we will go through, uh, through the procedure of getting a signals now. Now, let's start with um, Optus uh, D2. Optus D2, that's where all those free-to-air channels are. In order to get... Um, in order to get the, the signals, first of all, we have to set up our decoder. Now, in this case, if you can, uh, you can see, we will go through the menus. Of course, you can use any other kind of a monitor or a TV, whatever. So, but we use this one for our own uh, technicians. They use this setup. It is compact and versatile. You can use it anywhere you want. Now, um, in this case, now let's set how uh, we go to the second step, how to get the signals. Of course, first of all, you have to set up your decoder. Depends which of course, yeah, depending which satellite you want to get, at the moment we will try to get Optus D2 signals. Optus D2. So what we have to do, we'll just go to the menu system. I'm just going through it. We've got in here, it says antenna setup. Just press OK there. Now, it gives you the list of all those available uh, satellites. Now, the one that we look for is called Optus D2. So we'll just go through Optus D2, D1. D2. 
No, the second thing is important to get the LMB type right. In our case, we've got standard 11300. Now, how can we get, how, how to find out what LMB are we using? The important thing is, we, in this case, we've got, in this case we are using a um, Southern Cross one, and as you can see, 11300. Yes, 11300. So in, in this case, our LMB is 11300 gigahertz. So that's all you have to know, because um, of course this LMB comes in a different uh, LOs or local local oscillators. Once we set up this one, we'll go back to, to our own satellite. Um, <coughs> Uh, what do you call uh, configuration in here on our decoder? Dizac 1.2 means whether you've got the actuator or motor in a basic or simple term. Of course, we say we have got none of them. That's fine. We've done the, the whole lot, we've uh, set up the LMB and uh, with no motor you wouldn't, shouldn't worry about the 22 kilohertz, this and that, this is a different, um, different setup if you, you've got another satellite dish connected to it and we don't want to go through that area yet but um, so far that's all we need it's important to have the LMB right now what we will do, we'll just exit and save the configuration now the next step how to get the signal. In here, of course, if you've got the different decoders, you can use the same procedure, but might be slightly different. In our case, we will go to TP scan. We we'll just press OK. Now, we've got um, 12734. 12734, we know that's for Optus D2, that's where all the signals, it's got the, um, this uh, TP, it is live. All we have to do at the moment, as you can see, the signal intensity is zero, signal quality is 10 or something, which means, of course, it means zero. We don't have any signals at the moment. Now, which it, it will take us to the second step of how to getting it. But it is important to put it on the right frequency in here. We've got 12734 megahertz, 22500 is the symbol rate, and polarity is vertical. We know for sure that this one exists and it is belong to Optus D2. At the same time, for example, if you want to get the Optus C1, Optus C1 has got the different frequencies as well, so you have to get that particular TP in um, on your screen in order to get it so yes okay. now, as you know for any satellite TV system you need LMB the one in front of the dish which all the signals are going through of course we need a satellite dish and uh, the third part is just something to hold hold everything together or just uh, in this case we call it a mount this mount of course it's been designed for for uh, for outdoor users for a balcony or whatever you can extend it you know you just make it stabilized or you can uh, connect it to the ground secure it to the ground all we need in here at the moment we are we are trying to get the signals from Optus D2 and uh, as we mentioned before we had uh, the frequency 12.734 uh, 